What's up, Ramblers? My name is Amra from the Ramblin' Richardsons, and welcome back to the channel. For Christmas and for the birth of our child, we got a couple of video camcorders. You come see Dr. Bodhi. So we have a uh, child monitor system, and we also got some indoor security cameras. Now, with the current internet connection that we have supplied by our internet provider, our camera systems won't work. Our router currently switches between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz frequencies to give us the best possible connection that it can provide. The camera systems, a lot of them, and other devices require 2.4 gigahertz connection. I used to do internet technical support, so some of this may sound like Greek to you. Think about a radio station. Your Wi-Fi broadcasts on a certain frequency like 101.5 FM, that's a frequency. So 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz are the most common frequencies that are out there that most routers and most devices connect to. In order to use these new gadgets we got, we need a router capable of doing two separate frequencies so we can run certain things on 2.4 frequency radio station and everything else tune it into the 5 gigahertz radio station. So I went ahead and purchased and was delivered within 24 hours the Google Wi-Fi system. So this consists of a wireless router and then two other almost like hotspots and this creates a mesh so think of it like a big circle. And when the circles overlap, that's how far your connection can go. So this boosts the connection, whatever room it's placed in, as long as it overlaps to the original. Our house isn't very big. We currently rent the router is in my office, which we'll see here in a minute. So I can be hardwired to the internet connection so I can work from home. Can't be on the Wi-Fi connection. So the modem and router have to go into the room where my work computer is. And the other two can be placed elsewhere. So we're thinking about maybe putting one in here, in the kitchen, and then one out into the garage. And I oftentimes will watch YouTube videos out in the garage, or I'll even film YouTube videos. You've seen a number of videos on this channel where I'm out in the garage doing a YouTube video just like this one. So we're gonna open this up and take a look at it and get it hooked up. Pretty much everything else in the house it's gonna have to be recalibrated to the new Wi-Fi. So let's check this uh, check this Wi-Fi router system out. This was probably the cheapest for what we needed. We're not going to be renting forever, and this is an expandable. I can get more of these units if we decide to move somewhere and we get a two-story home, or we have a home that's much much bigger than this one. And so I want something that's going to be able to go with us and grow with us. Also, I have a lot of Google products. I have the Google Nest Hub Max and I have a Google Mini. So this is gonna pretty much work seamlessly with what we already have as far as the smart home features in our house. Let me get this box open. All right. So here are our three little Wi-Fi systems. This one is the main one. You hook up the ethernet cable from the modem in here and the power adapter here. And this is what the other ones will connect to. Let's take a look. Do they all have that on them? Oh, nice. They all have that on them. So it doesn't matter which one. And they all have set up information on the bottom of them. So now we just gotta take this and hook it up to our modem. Oh, I got a spicy baby right now. Woo woo! <laughs> so I gotta restart my Google Home. There's one of the mesh routers there. And I moved, you can see the white box in there. That is for the lights in the office. So gotta re-sync all of this to the new Wi-Fi connection. Okay, I don't know if you can see back here, but I got this little camera right here set up. I got all the Wi-Fi's connection set up. I got this one connected. And what's great about this is that it will actually stream to the Google Nest 
Hub Max that we have. So I can say, hey Google, show me the kitchen cam. And this is what she'll do. Streaming kitchen cam on living room display. Hey Google, stop streaming. So I got this one set up in here and it's running these ones in here. And I also have another camera, but another camera up here. These greenies, they don't come with a genie, sorry. This is genie brand. Um, they connect to your smart devices and your Wi-Fi and your connection in your home, but they come with really short USB connectors. So I'm gonna have to get longer USB. They don't run on batteries and uh, we'll have to get these set up permanently somewhere, but these guys work great. And there's my second one. So I've got my modem right here, powered and online. It's connected to this. This is connected to power right here. I have my computer hooked up into the back of this because I have to have one hard line. The problem was I thought it was gonna come into is that this didn't have multiple ports. That's my one drawback is it doesn't have multiple ports. So I had the Philips Hue, which helped me connect my lights to smart lights to run off of something like Google Assistant or Alexa or even the uh, Apple HomePod. Um, it has to have a little link. It looks much like this that it connects to. Um, I thought I wasn't gonna be able to set that up, but I hooked it up to the one in the living room and it works just fine. So here is my old router. This is supplied by my internet service provider. And you can see here, it's got all of the information on the back here. It's got the network name, the password. It's got a QR code for setup. You can do WPS and it's got multiple connectors on the back. And this is, I like this because I need to hook up more than one device. I have my Philips Hue, which needs to be hardwired, but my computer also has to be hardwired. So it doesn't have the, it does have two networks, but it switches back and forth. You can't hook up to just one or the other. So we're gonna go have to take this back to the internet service provider. And just so you know, most internet service providers, they are going to charge you to lease their equipment. We paid $5 every month. Um, and I paid for this little Google thing was about $130 for three of them. We'll take this back over to Spectrum probably tomorrow and get um, a little bit of a discount on our bill, save some money. And you can do this too if you don't wanna pay for your internet service provider's uh, equipment. So if you don't know how to set up a modem or router, that's okay. There's a lot of good videos out, out there um, that can teach you how to do it. I'm not going to teach you how to do it, but uh, if you have the know-how, it's not that hard to do so, um, and you can save money off your bill for not having to rent the equipment from your internet service provider. Check into that if you want to save a little bit of money. So my, the really the one drawback I see to the Google Mesh system is that these wireless routers only have one port to hardwire into. I'm not sure if a like a switch would work or a um, Ethernet hub would be something that could run off of this. Our purpose is we just moved the other device that needed a hardwired connection, which was the uh, Philips Hue bridge that allows me to turn my lights on here in the office on and off through the Google Home Assistant, and it still works. So I can say, Hey Google, turn the light out. And it still recognizes and connects just fine. <laughs> hey Google, turn the light back on. Because we're filming, I'll go ahead and have the light on here. There we go, bright light. Really my only complaint with the Google Mesh system is that these hubs uh, for this wireless connection only have one ethernet connection. The Genie cameras, those things are pretty cool. Those things set up really, really quickly. They do nighttime. They have a, a nighttime camera on them that uses infrared and they also do streaming so I can stream it like you saw earlier in the video. Um, they have SD cards so you can record it. The one complaint about those is they don't have battery power. They're meant to be indoor cameras and the USB cords that they gave were a little little bit short for what I needed. By the way, we are not sponsored by any means from 
Google or Genie um, or, you know, the Philips Hue stuff, we're not sponsored by any of those. We just run a smart home and this is what's worked best for us. Um, I'm impressed so far. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Do me a favor, go down there and like subscribe, ring that notification bell so you don't ever miss any of the videos that we post. And remember, life's about the journey, not the destination. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.